Folks, can humans devolve? Can, can humans go back on evolution? You know, you, you evolve and can, can you like go back and take it, take it, take back? <laughs> I wanted to show you this here and just, I, 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 I have no words. I have no words. It's, it's, it's multiple different things. I saw this the other day. Here we go. Election officials don't let <clears throat> scare you into disinfecting ballots. Your mail-in ballot won't give you. <laughs> don't do this. If you want your vote to count, you're just disinfecting it. In, in one case, someone tried to microwave their ballot. Don't sanitize or microwave your mail-in ballot, voting officials warn. No, oh, get rid of that. Election officials ask voters to stop disinfecting mail-in ballots. <laughs> California election officials tell voters not to disinfect mail-in ballots. This goes on and on and on. Just, oh my gosh. Just who, who in their right mind does does that? Who in their right mind is so scared that they're going to do, do that? <sighs> Let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment. I mean, I would like to know the people who are that terrified of the common cold slash the flu. Who is that terrified? <clears throat> Were you ever terrified before when, you know, see, here's the interesting thing. There's more people taking more safety precautions now. So if anything, you're, you're a ballot now. Anything that you touch is probably cleaner and healthier than anything else you've touched before. You know, that's probably how it is. You get something shipped to you. It's probably cleaner, less germs on it than, you know, it ever has been before because people are taking a lot of precautions. Whereas in the past, oh, I, I don't care about that. You know, I'm just, someone's touching, you know, someone could, it could, it could be scratching their butt after they're, after they haven't wiped in a week touching your envelope and putting it in there ship it to you and then you and, th and then you touch it and then you know you lick your hand it's like okay you know that's probably something that has definitely happened and that was worse then than it is now you know <laughs> so <laughs> if anything this should be the time that everything is so clean everything is so sanitary we don't have to make you know everything even more sanitary so sanitize disinfect kill all everything that doesn't even exist on it, you know? So it's just, I'm just flabbergasted. It really is. And the, <laughs> people are doing this and it's just making their, I guess just destroying the ballot or whatever. This is why you gotta do it in person. You know, if you really want it to count, you gotta go in person. Go in person because otherwise, honestly, a lot of, a lot of shadiness when it comes to all these mail and thing. So if you want it to count, if you really want to make your voice heard, you got to get up on that day or earlier. I think you can go earlier in person. Go in person. If you're, if you're terrified, bring your hazmat suit or, or whatever it is, bring your bubble and do it in person. Okay. That's the only way that you're going to get something that's a bit more, you know, actually truthful here because you could do this you send it and then it gets destroyed and you're like oh my vote counted actually it didn't because you just ruined it you just ruined it microwaving it and just all that stuff so uh, yeah I just I saw that and I'm like can people really devolve <laughs> can people really be I don't, I don't want to call people stupid, okay? I, I really don't want to call people stupid. It's just, it's foolish. It's just foolishness. It is being misinformed. It is being uneducated when it comes to, you know, what is going on. Being hypochondriac, it's terrified, scared. You know? And I get it if you're a germaphobe. That is, you know, sure. <laughs> be, be a germaphobe. But I think that's also part of... You know, there's people who go over the top with, with that. And it's interesting because people used to call me a germaphobe before all this. And then I'm, and it's like, oh, I guess you're not a germaphobe now. You know, it's like, 
I don't think I ever really was, you know, I really never really was. Hmm. So just curious to know what your thoughts are on this. I think it's just, it's just craziness. It's like, wow, <laughs> never, never would have thought, never would have thought. Hmm. Anyway, that was it. Y'all take care. I'll catch you later. Have a fantastic day. Have a fantastic whatever it is that you're doing. And I'll catch you another time. All right? Don't 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 disinfect too much. Oh, that's right. That's the thing. When you disinfect too much, look, people who are so has everything has to be clean, clean and and disinfected. That leads to health issues because your body needs bacteria and viruses and germs to make you healthy. I know it's like, oh, bacteria, viruses, germs, I can't stand them. Oh, guess what? You know, there's probably so many germs and bacteria and viruses on my hand right now. There you go. I just consumed some. I just consumed some. Okay. You know, there's so... It's, it's all over the place, okay? Your skin, the viruses and bacteria... They're not all bad, and even the ones that are bad, if you, when you, when you use these disinfectants, it kills everything. Like, think of it like a pro, uh, an antibiotic, okay? An antibiotic and a probiotic, okay? Think of it, think of it like this. An antibiotic kills all the bad, you know, bacteria that, that, that you're dealing with, but it also kills the good ones. The good ones that actually make, make you healthy. And then you need to consume probiotics to bring in the healthy bacteria. And anyone who takes a, uh, an antibiotic should take a probiotic after they're done with the antibiotic to help bring in the beneficial bacteria. Although I believe that if you're consuming regular probiotics, you don't even need the antibiotic to be honest with you. But in some in some cases, may may be yes, absolutely. But when I see these people, you know, using these disinfectants on their grocery carts, on their grocery items, inside the stores. When I see employees spraying trains and airplanes with this, with these toxic disinfecting chemicals, number one, that is very unsafe, very unhealthy, okay? You are then sitting and breathing in these toxic chemicals, you're touching the toxic chemicals, and then you probably touch, touch your face, touch, touch your skin, it absorbs into the skin, just like people who overly use hand sanitizer. I'm not saying, you know, go ahead and use hand sanitizer when it's needed, but people who are using it all the time, these chemicals can be very toxic inside of these these things. I haven't even, I haven't, I haven't used hand sanitizer in years, okay? When all this broke out, I'm like, uh, no, washing your hands is better. Washing your hands with a healthier natural soap. But the other thing is, when all those people, when all those employees are spraying down everything, you're killing the good and bad bacteria. And what does that lead to? That leads to superbugs. Why? Because that's the natural germs evolution as well. Just like animals evolve to adapt to their environment, you don't think germs and viruses evolve? They evolve way quicker, way faster. That's why viruses mutate because they become resistant. It's like, okay, we can't survive in this environment anymore. So we're going to tweak it a bit. And guess what? Now you have a virus that is immune to your disinfecting chemicals, which means you're going to have to create a new one that's probably way more toxic to humans. So yeah, that's, that's why I say no. Everything in nature can be healed by nature. Okay. Now, if it's something man-made, then that's probably a different story here. You know, which, there's talk about that, but who knows? Who knows? But still, even if it is, there's nothing that nature can't help with. That's what I always say. When, when you're healthy, your body will fight against anything it can. That's it. Y'all take care. Have a great one. I'll catch you later. Bye.